this is our first day of class. Um, we're going to be clearing the weeds out of the hoop house. Before we can plant anything, we need to clear a place for us to plant it. And with the weeds that we're going to be clearing, and specifically the grass, we are actually going to be banking paper. Yeah. So what we're going to be doing, we are going to be taking the grass from right here. The only part of the grass that we're going to be using is the leaf. So the stalk is too full of what's called lignin to be usable for paper. We'll toss that aside, but we'll keep the leaves and drop them in the bucket. Things like rush. Rush has very long leaves and you can go all the way down to the bottom. And this whole thing is a leaf and you can use all of what is a rush. Once you guys clear an area of all the grass, I will come through with the scythe and I will clear all the other weeds out and we'll move on to the next area. So there's enough people here that we should be able to have like person, 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 person all the way down the row. Are there any questions about what part of the plant you're gonna be harvesting, where the leaves go, where the stems go, any of that? Alright, we're gonna get a gum drop. Everybody wow. come right up. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> hey, bro, you're people are used to now, but so are my people, hey. <laughs> Is that what I was supposed to do? <laughs> yeah, get these hands. You just cut it. Oh, 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 this God. is very close. Very close. It's I personal space. Man, it doesn't even feel you. So, are you filming? Bro, I just can't. Hey, what is the 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 the? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh -huh. So foxy tail is a type of grass and actually it's one of the best for making paper because it's got nice, large, evenly sized leaves that don't have a rib down the middle. The ribs down the middle in grass will um, make hard lines in your paper and make the paper a little bit rougher. Unless we're making sandpaper. Can make rough paper. Make, out of that. Make sandpaper. It's not quite that. Oh. They won't make printer paper. Exactly. They don't This tool. Wow. Wow. Nature. wow. You got that? Well then. Just a casual tree falling. Um. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Alright, it's okay, it's okay. Your dominant hand, for my case it's the right hand, is going to be the lower hand. All the force comes from the lower hand. Your left hand, or your non-dominant hand, is going to be used to guide where it's going. This scythe is not quite sized for me, but it should be able to rest against the ground. You're going to turn with your hips. The first slice is always going to be the hardest. Yeah, Grim Reaper. Oh, So what are you doing? I always go. Uh, me? I am harvesting grass. What are you harvesting the grass for? We are harvesting it for paper. We are going to take the grass and we're going to cut it up eventually. And then we are going to mix it with water mm -hmm. and turn it into paper with a process that we will probably later record. Yeah. But right now, it's just grass and it's kind of fun, you know? <laughs> this is a thistle. This weed right here is a thistle. These are very painful to grab, very unfortunate to grab. They have little stickers along the edge of their leaves. They will stick into your hand 
and because the stickers are so thin, they'll actually break off under your skin and you can't get them out. So that is the problem with thistles. They, they aren't dangerous, but they're unpleasant. So if you see something like this, don't just grab a hold of it. So you see how they've got the little stickers on the stem there? I, I hate you, didn't I? If you get those in your skin, oh. it's very, very oh, bad. Sorry. sorry about that. Leave her. Oh, it's good. Like every day. <laughs> just, just be like golden. Put on a cape the whole time. Why you call it cape? All right, a cap. What do you want me to call it? A head sock? <laughs> I'm about to grow. What? Oh, yeah. Hey, dog. Oh, we got leaves. Oh, we got leaves. Stella, I want to see something. We got. Hey, How you doing? We got What do we do with the rest of this when we get all the leaves off of it? You throw it on the ground. Okay. I came here to. Something so that I can record it. Uh huh. You don't have to point. Is that green wing? Pointed? Oh, that whole thing on video. Wow. Not species, I'm sorry. It's grass. And it's many different species of grass in the most successful organism. No idea, but I'm going to say that's why. I think it's so ancient that it was around the I can be Man, you don't Oh, I don't want to get from there. Shawan, you good? Bro, my book book is really cool. I know, I saw that, bro. You can learn to accomplish things that we cannot do on our own. Because I assure you, this would be a lot of work to clear this entire hoop house all on your own. I need more hours. Oh. <laughs> so proud of you, Ida, for stepping up to the plate and recording while everybody else works. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so for today we're going to be... Hi, Axel. We are going to be um, cutting up the grass. We have two reasons that we're going to be doing this. We are going to be... First of all, cutting the cellulose fibers that I mentioned yesterday shorter because those are the parts that we want to keep and that are not going to break down. If we didn't cut them up, then the cellulose fibers would be the same length as the leaves that we have. The second reason is the lignin that we do want to break down. We are now increasing the surface area of the leaf that is in contact with the solution, thus making the chemical reaction go faster. Yes. Good job. Keep it Thank up. you. Industrious. <laughs> you should be able to pass the night through like this. But. Oh. 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 <laughs> No, but can you put that, can you put it a little bit right here? Joe. Oh, I don't want it, Good Joe, Joseph. Good boy. That is already cut here. We have a good amount that's cut here. We are going to take we're going to take this and we're going to put it into big, big pot. Big, big pot? Oh, oh, oh big, big pot. Oh. Oh, I like that. And we're going to start <laughs> this cooking. Oh, okay. We're oh. cooking rats. Oh, it smells good. It smells like, like corn. corn. It's like corn, yeah. 
This is washing soda. So washing soda will turn this into a basic solution, which will break down the lignin and leave us with our cellulose for the paper. Okay, so today is the final day for making paper. We are actually going to make our sheets. We have below my feet is the grass that we've cooked in our uh, washing soda solution. It is It now has the lignin in the grass broken down, so we just have the cellulose left over. Now we have to pound it into a pulp. You are going to take either um, gardening tools or you will take knives. If you take a knife, whoops, if you take a knife, you are not going to use the blade to make pulp. You're going to use the back. The reason that we're using knives for this is because we have a good amount of steel weight above a very small point, but it's wide enough that it's not going to cut through the fibers. Our goal is to separate the fibers out. This is a handful for me. Well, you got one. You can look at it too. What you got there? Uh, collard greens. You green for Thanksgiving. It's green, bro. Wow, this feels a whole lot different than I thought it would. Funny or fruit? I didn't care about the phone you wrote. This cold again? All right, so this is gonna be where we'll put the pulp. We don't have any pulp yet, but I can show you. <laughs> this bucket will be where we wash the pulp before we put it in. These two objects are molds and decals. This is what we're going to be using to make it. They're actually pretty simple to make. This is literally a canvas stretcher that I took the canvas off of. This one I put chicken wire on one side to reinforce it, and then this is a window screen, all stapled onto it. When you go to make your sheet of paper, you're going to put the decal on top of the mold. You'll sit down either at that side or this side. You're going to reach opposite you, set it in vertically, pull towards you, and lift up. And the pulp that's all mixed in there is going to end up on the screen. The screen will allow it to drain out and you will be left with a tangled mass of cellulose fibers which will dry into paper. Good, good, come dry! And then to clean this, if you get a sheet you don't like, you don't dip it this way. Always turn it over and then smack it against the surface and it'll come clean. But if you put it in the other way, then it gets all up behind these oh, yeah. and then that's a pain in the rear end to clean. So we need a little bit more in here, but we're getting there. You're going to watch it. Your shoes might get a little dirty.
paper, but it's paper made out of paper. Yeah, I want to make it paper. This is the paper that we made. I made some extra. This is some paper that I really very much beat the pulp until it came very clean. This is the stuff that we, we made during class. And then on top, I've got some that I left out in the sun. And you can see you can actually get this pretty white. Do they have to do their homework for the year on that paper? <laughs> uh, let, let's not go quite that far. <laughs> so you see you can actually make some pretty good paper using nothing but some basic chemistry and some hand tools. And we got to have a lot of fun making it. And we will be seeing you in the next video. Bye. Oh. Oh. oh.